Smooch that ghost! Smooch that ghost! <laughs> Wait! Would you cut it out? Are you absolutely certain you wish to stick with your initial answer? Because we've actually been an idiot to his fate? So what if we do? Don't bother threatening me, cause... Why look, there's a Night Raven college student now! Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello there, I'm a reporter with TB's News. You attend a Night Raven college, correct? Uh, yeah, I guess- Whoa, jeez, ever heard of personal space, headmate? The student also kidnapped as well, yes? And you better know when you needed them the most, isn't that right? Look, man, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not even in the storm. So you deserted him just because you weren't close? How utterly ruthless! This deserves a special feature. Sage Island's profited by horrific portrayal of Steve's Academy. Holy crap. <laughs> Forgot he did this. Dude, cut it out. Stop pointing that camera at me. Snap, 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 snap. Quit it! <laughs> If you want help, I'll hack the TV stations and remove any censoring for your faces on TV. Oh my god, he's gonna dox. <laughs> I want you to ask for the ghost bride's hand in marriage. Excuse me? Just what are you on about? Allow me to join them, head mage. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't rose hearts. Aww, womp womp. Why ever not? You must ask why these seven students have in common. The answer is simple. <laughs> They're all over 180 centimeters tall! Are... Are you calling me short? <laughs> oh man, you can't reach the you must be this tall sign? Not Floyd, not Floyd teasing him, no! <laughs> Wanna stand on my tail fin? Might give you some extra height. Not in the least. She's choosing a husband based on height? So she prefer a slippery scoundrel like Floyd because he happens to be tall? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's ridiculous. Now, Navriddle, everyone has their quirks. Yes, I know, there's no accounting for taste. That's the spirit. Besides, being small got its own charm. Wait, where's Goldfishy? Did he just disappear? What are you talking about, Floyd? I'm right. Oh, there you are. I couldn't see you from up here. <laughs> I love how he falls for it every time. Just so you know, all the students have Nightmare with College are eligible badges. Like, turbo eligible. <laughs> Rich boys, peppy boys, bossy boys, cute boys, pretentious boys, you name it, they've got it. <laughs> I feel like Idiot plays ultimate games. The way that he speaks right now is like, he's speaking to me on a spiritual level right now. <laughs> Pretension flatters me, but compared to my darling Idiot, you're... Obviously superior! <laughs> Didn't let her even finish, bro. Let's start with you, the rugged one with the cute ears. <laughs> Okay, you're talking to me, right? Okay, yeah, hey, I'm Leona King Scholar. Oh my god, the bad boy music is playing in the background. <laughs> Go ahead and test me. I'm your guy, guaranteed. <clears throat> Would you believe how long I've waited? Huh? I've waited for so very long. <laughs> what? For a glimpse of that tender smile from you. I am so lost. <laughs> Why she's bursting the song? Is choosing one of us too much for her? You're out! <laughs> Smack. Damn. Ow! Unbelievable. A princess was singing right in front of you and you wouldn't even join her for a duet? You're no prince at all. Yeesh, and Leona's the only actual prince in our group. Before we get to that, let's switch to our tier list. Did Leona get deserved uh, to be slapped? Yes or no? <laughs> yes? <laughs> All he did was just like stand there in confusion. Maybe? No for now. Yes? It's unexpected. I see so many yeses. Mm. You know what? I would say no, but usually yes. All right, how do I say this? No, but he's an asshole, so you could have been. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, could have been a yes. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Next, you. There, with a the pretty blonde hair. Alrighty. <clears throat> Would you believe how long I've waited? 
waiting for me all this time. I've waited for so very long. My feelings won't steer me wrong. For a glimpse of that tender smile. From you. Is he actually singing along with some random ghost who none of us heard before? That's really impressive, actually. How very charming. Now, what's your dog's name? Why are you asking about dogs? For one thing, I live in a dorm. Of course I don't have a dog. You're out! Ow! I don't believe this. Have you any inkling how valuable my face is? Ah, uh, there's the bill we know. Anybody break character if they got turbo slapped like that. You're no prince in my book if you don't have a big dog who will come running to you while you whistle for help. She's got a very narrow view of what princes are. Leona, Bill, you two okay? Uh, uh, what's wrong? You're both freezing up. Did she slap you that hard? I can't move! What? I, I imagine when they got slapped, they're like lined up right next to each other. The reason that she gave us looks so BS. Too. Like she didn't, she didn't ask any of the other boys except him that if he had a dog, which is like crazy. Leave it here. No, she was just jealous. How's your skill with a sword? What's the biggest monster you've slain? Do you have a legendary sword that's been passed down for generations? A sword? What's good a glorified metal stick when I can just punch? You're out. <laughs> didn't give me a chance. Hey, that hurt. Can't rescue a princess from monsters without a legendary store, and you're no prince. Was that deserved? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Where's Jack? No. What instruments do you play? The piano, the flute, perhaps? You wish to know about my musical talents? I am so glad you asked, ghost. Let me tell you about my lord. Pardon? You're quite ill-mannered. I've never even finished speaking. You know what's ill-mannered? Bringing up a totally unrelated person during our romantic interlude. So, Sebek, uh, yes. Do this. I'm so sorry, but we shouldn't see each other anymore. Farewell. She just took off. <laughs> He's so confused. Am I supposed to give chase? Probably. Alright, well, no, please wait. <laughs> Did I just say we couldn't see each other? Please don't spare me a second thought. All her little ghost fire thingies are also so sad too. So cute. Looks like chasing was the right call. What should I do next though? Trey, you're supposed to sing a song. A song? Right now? That's right, you need to establish a romantic mood with a touching melody that tickles her fancy. I'm not exactly the best singer, but here goes. Uh, your, your, yes, my what? Your veal is as bright as freshly bleached dish towel. And your eyes, they're, um, like grapes. You're so lively. <laughs> so just, they're so, it's so awkward. You're out. Bam. Oh. Yeah, no surprises there. My view is like a dishcloth. My eyes are like grapes. A prince would never such utterly unromantic analogies. You, you couldn't even manage your eyes are like jewels. Look, I'm just a regular student and she totally put me on the spot. All I could think of were things I knew. <laughs> he didn't deserve it. Okay, no. I love him. Like, Trey is like my man, but... A normal student, quote unquote, since he claims to be a normal student so much, wouldn't say her eyes were like grapes. Like, a normal person would be like, oh, your eyes look like the ocean or like jewels, like Jade said. Like, come on. Like, come on, Trey. You, 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 you are not normal. So you kind of, <laughs> I'm a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put him no for now because he's just... A lot of people like to think Trey is normal, like a normal person, but he really isn't, bro. Like, when you look really deep, when you look under his skin, bro, it's like... Like, there's there's some little things off about him. And, like, he likes to hide behind, like, the rest of Heartsy Blue Dorm because, like, the rest are, like, definitely chaotic. 
But like he's he's not normal, bro. He's you're here for a reason. You're here at NRC for a reason. You're not normal. This lady's been really getting on my nerves. Can I squeeze her? You're out. <laughs> okay. That didn't even take a minute. <laughs> Let's help. Um, I think that was definitely uh deserved, right, you guys? That was deserved. Absolutely. Boy, who's speaking this <laughs> slide? Yeah. Shrek, the shortest try ever. But yes, yeah, he was doing the start. Yeah. My, what love what a lovely flower. Is it for me? But of course, your highness. Hand picked by yours truly. I saw it and thought of you. You bought her a present? Why, how thoughtful! I'm positively thrilled. Goodness, I believe my heart's all a flutter. Is this actually working? <laughs> Whatever, Jade isn't the same flower you dug up in the mountains, the, uh, the uber poisonous one. You're just dumping it on her because you can't plant it anywhere else. <laughs> Correct, it's highly toxic flower that wouldn't ruin any other plants it was planted near. Normally, a person's hand would break out if they so much as touched it. But it doesn't seem to have an effect on ghosts. I've learned something new today. God. Are you mad? <laughs> Bam. Smack. <laughs> that hurt your highness. The audacity to act shocked. He might have succeeded, but for Floyd's big mouth. Look, I didn't like the idea of him sitting pretty while I stuck in Slapsville. He just he just did an experiment on the ghost bride. I'm gonna put it on absolutely. Smack. <laughs> Ooh. Smack. Ah. Smack. No way. Smack. Impossible. Why? Oh. Why was I rejected? <laughs> yeah, she smacked you good, Azul. I analyzed the first team's data and came up with a perfect approach by the ghost standards. Where did I go wrong? She said you talked too much and lacked any shred of sincerity. It rubbed her the wrong way. Of course it did. You're not going to get anywhere talking a lady's ear off. Leona, you were the first to be rejected. You're hardly in a position to act smug. Yes? Damn, you guys- <laughs> I love a swoop, but like, yes. No. He talked too, too damn much. Oh, <laughs> okay. To see how you flippant chatter would spark anything but annoyance. Even the ghost is put off by your shallowness. He came off as shallow, so. No, for now, he's just a little chatty, yeah. Are you here again, Zeus? I was trying to save you, but the moment I came face to face with her, I got cold feet. I blinked and couldn't think of anything to say. Aww. Deuce? Deuce, absolutely no. Absolutely no. She told me I was too cute by half. What? By half? What does that even mean? Definitely jealous of Lilia, so no, she was just jealous. Do I love Malleus? No. Malleus is a baby, so he's a gentleman. Yeah, I could see. Yeah. Okay. Alright, how about Crowley? Yes, I think Crowley, yes, 100% yes. <laughs> the way he acts, 100% yes. Okay. What about Grim? Probably, yeah. You talk about Tuna and then lo lose, lose sight. I know, I think, I think, I think Crowley's a gentleman. That girl make a pet related an idiot. Oh shoot, he would. No, she she would get offended because of that. Train is like a gentleman, but he's a bit serious. So probably yeah. Vargas? Yeah. Sam? No. I haven't seen Ruggy at all. I would put no. But he's an asshole, so it could have been a yes. Because Ruggy sometimes is an asshole. Oh silvery, uh yeah, he didn't participate. I don't think- no. I also think Kaleem. Jamil? Didn't participate, but probably no. I mean, yes. He'd probably say, say something offhand. Um, or try to hypnotize the bride and then get smacked. Mm, Appel? Um, yeah. Well, you'll get a little rowdy. Rook, let's see. Yeah. Just, just because of how he is. Riddle? Yeah, I'm sorry to say. Ace? Ace? The thing is though, Ace is like really flirty, so I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he can get on the wrong side, so I could totally see him getting deserved to get smacked.
Oh, he is dressed to the nines. He's as frozen as we are. They wheeled him in here on a stone! <laughs> oh, this Stunning rescue, guys. You crashed and burned, and now you're nothing but a pile of wreckage. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, they did not like that. <laughs> Shouldn't you normally be good at all this vapid socializing stuff? Aren't you embarrassed? <laughs> you are so right, honey dearest. Any other guys are total wreck compared to you. And the way you tell people hard truths when they don't want to hear them? Well, that takes real kindness and integrity. <laughs> You're just so perfect. I can't wait a minute longer. The way she's eating this up. Oh my gosh. We'll hold the way like tonight. <laughs> wait, tonight? <laughs> yes, darling. Just imagine tonight when the clock shine midnight. We'll seal our eternal marriage with a kiss. <laughs> then you'll shed your mortal form and together our souls will depart for our honeymoon. And leave this mortal coil without getting to read my manga. No, <laughs> guys, you gotta get me out of this. Well, well, it sounds like you found someone who loves you in spite of your bad attitude. Yeah, you know what? Good on you for finding your soulmate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you so shocked after hurling all those insults at us? Azul, army board game club buddies. <laughs> You're a fast talker. Talk some sense into this ghost. I think that Idia, king of all introverts, would get married. I can't see through all my tears of joy. <laughs> my heartfelt congratulations. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful wedding. <laughs> no! Please, you, go with him to make sure they don't completely fall apart. <laughs> Honestly, can I not? Can I not? Arthur? I'm sorry. I love you, but I, I am, I'm unable to process your request. What? Can I not? Unable to process your request. Oh my god, I can't say no. Okay. <laughs> we have to stop this wedding somehow. But we can't move a muscle. I'm kind of checked out, to be honest. <laughs> we can go once Firefly Squid smooches the bride, right? Ah, uh, get on with it already. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Agreed. My lower back is sore from being stuck in this position. Just to give her the old smoocheroo, would you? <laughs> you heard Lilia? Make a haste and smoocheroo the bride. <laughs> Dude, I would literally die if we smooch a room. What's wrong with you people? Have you no compassion? Do you post joke comments on tragic videos online too? <laughs> oh. Stop the wedding! I know that voice. Made it under the wire. Oh. You must keep evading me with a silly display of stubbornness. Well, you see, uh, <laughs> I would just think a first kiss should be special. Oh, we haven't had a first kiss yet. Oh, poor idiot. One thing, that perfect prince doesn't exist. Never has, never will. What do you mean he doesn't exist? No partner is going to meet your every ideal. That's just common sense. How dare you speak to her highness that way? Princess, do not listen to him. You have your perfect prince right here. And she's stuck on this non-existent Mr. Right because you keep getting her hopes up. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks from book one, you guys. Don't listen to anything they say, your highness. You've done nothing wrong. Puffy. Dude, did you hear what I said about enabling? Can't you just see you're doing something wrong? Yeah, what they said. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Poor idiot, get, get him out of here, bro. Get idiot out. Uh oh. Why is he becoming so huge? We can't stay here. Everyone, get behind us. Did you miss the part where none of us can move? Ah, yes, quite. In that case, Appel, you move these glorified locks to a corner of the cafeteria. Oh my god. <laughs> Any last words? You can say goodbye to your precious idiot if you. Puffy! Huh? Oh, Puffy, how could this happen? You took a beating defending me from those villains. <laughs> Wait, you're calling us villains? No, no, don't leave me. Your support is what's carried me throughout all the hard times and helped me follow my dreams. I need you, princess. Oh my, of course, I finally figured it out. My real prince, it's you, Puffy. What? Ah, oh, this sucks. I hate it here. I'm gonna have a phasmophobia for ages. 
he's traumatized. Oh, I'll be sure to pop by for a visit next year and give you an update. Just stay gone. <laughs> <laughs>